Are you familiar with the 340B Drug Pricing Program and how it works? This federal initiative offers significant drug discounts to eligible healthcare organizations, helping low-income and uninsured patients access vital medications. Let's take a closer look. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ask Rx Mike, where I answer your questions related to pharmacy practice and the pharmacy technician career. Today's question comes from Ginger, and she asks, what is the 340B drug pricing program and how does it work? Well, the 340B program is a federal initiative that requires drug manufacturers to provide outpatient drug discounts to eligible healthcare organizations serving low-income or uninsured patients. It is the second largest federal prescription drug program behind only Medicare Part D. Healthcare organizations must meet specific criteria to participate in the 340B program, such as being a public or nonprofit entity with a high volume of low income and uninsured patients. The discounts offered through the 340B program can range from 20 to 50% off the average wholesale price, depending on the drug and manufacturer. A wide range of drugs, including both brand name and generic medications, are covered by the 340B program since manufacturers that participate in Medicaid are required to participate in 340B. The intended benefit of the program is that the significant cost savings for eligible healthcare organizations should enable them to expand access to care and essential services for low income and uninsured patients. The 340B program, however, has faced numerous challenges and controversies over the years, with concerns about program integrity and questions about how participating healthcare organizations use these discounts. As the 340B program continues to evolve with ongoing efforts to strengthen and expand it to better serve the needs of low income and uninsured patients, the future of the program is yet to be determined. Now, do you have any thoughts or experience with the 340B program? If so, let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have a pharmacy technician related question you'd like for me to answer, be sure to drop it in the comments section below. See you next time.